Well, what's up guys? Some of you wanted to see a ICS tent setup in real time. I said I could do it in about five minutes. I'm just going to casually set it up and see realistically how long it takes to set up. Tomorrow when I wake up, I'll do a real time test on how it breaks down. So I'm gonna leave the sound and everything on so you guys can watch it in real time. Just be advised, I'm in my backyard at the German headquarters, so some weird stuff goes on. I can't be held responsible. But first, all right, ready, set, go. almost freezing and it's dark so that's a pretty realistic test <laughs> oh well, that was a practice, practice run, time to practice run. hard to see which poles are longer without straightening them all up. That's usually what I do, but oh well. I guess you're also getting real sound on this and you get to see or hear any actual issues. It's always good. So the tent is basically livable now, just not in rainy weather. We'll go ahead and keep going. Notice how I'm not stressing too much. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. One more. Uh, where are we at? So, just over three minutes. Think we'll be all right. As I said in the grunt proof video, I trust these tents so much and I own a few of them. I don't really care about a ground sheet. So if you buy one and you really want to take care of it, yeah, you should probably do a ground sheet for long term use. But if you go out sometimes and you just forget one or you don't have room, whatever, it's not going to kill your tent. After it all, it is a military tent. Some guys go through this loop up here. That's for a tie-off point above you, so I don't really use it. You don't have to use it. So 
as usual, I know some of the keyboard heroes are going to say I'm too slow and I would never survive combat. Which is funny because I don't remember setting up too many of these tents in Ramadi in 2005-2006. But whatever. Okay, tent is set up. Oh, I'm gonna stop it in front of you guys. 544, we'll go 545. So, that's not too bad. I said about five minutes and taking my time chatting with you guys, 545, that's doable. And it is totally set up. It is set up for the weather. All I gotta do is throw my stuff in there, roll out my sleeping gear, go to sleep. So as long as I don't forget, tomorrow when I pack this up, I'll bring you guys back and go through the breakdown. Got a nice coating overnight. Straight ice. <laughs> it's frozen solid in some areas. Beat this thing up a bit. Okay guys, I'm all done. Got my stuff out of there. I'm packed up, ready to pack up the tent. So now you're going to watch in real time as I break it down and pack it up. So as I showed you, it's full of ice. It's still freezing. These are going to be the worst conditions you could pack up the tent, except for actual sleet coming down on you. Other than that, as far as rolling it up and getting into this bag, it's going to be tough. Well, what do you know? We're starting to get some more freezing rain. Awesome. So this is going to be the best pack up test you'll ever see. We've got to do it in real time, which means sound and... We kind of got a busy street behind us, so sorry about that. You wanted to see it in real time. Here you go. Timer starts now. Go. purposely doing it with gloves so you guys can see that it can be done it sucks but if you are packing up in snow or your tent's wet and it's very cold you should practice on doing this with gloves on that'll save you a lot of pain Because if you can't do it with gloves on, you're going to have to remove your gloves and then it's going to suck. You're going to have to start taking breaks to warm your hands up, It'll be very uncomfortable. Now of course, after this, I'm going to unpack it again and let it dry out. This is just to show you guys what the breakdown actually looks like. Sometimes you can just push these poles straight through they straight through these clips. Other times you actually have to unclip them. Looks like we're having luck. Probably because they're wet. That makes the breakdown a lot faster. Now of course breakdown should be faster than setup, right? That's the only race I'm doing. I always pack mine up with the netting open, or I mean with the actual blackout part 
open just so I can get as much air as possible while I'm breaking it down. Now I know all the heavy tent hating backpackers out there who are too weak to carry anything with weight on it. They're gonna have a heart attack watching me pack up a wet tent and just put it away. But again, that's the beauty of military surplus and things that are just heavier, is they're going to be tougher. Like I've said before, I've been on a 20 something day road trip with this rain, very hot weather, bad conditions, did not baby this thing at all and had no problems with it. So I'd love to see the backpackers do a video on that with their thousand dollar ultralight tents. I'd love to see them just abuse it and pack it up wet and go. But you won't see that. At least not from the YouTubers that are selling you a product. Ain't gonna happen. So it's easy to do this if you use your pack up bag as your width to go off of. Because you don't want it to be too wide and fat because then it'll stick outside of this and you ain't gonna get it back in there. How we doing on time? Oh, my thing malfunctioned. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna have to look at the time on the video. Sorry about that, guys. I'll put up some uh, markers. My phone did not like the ice rain getting onto it. It's usually an awesome phone for these conditions. Maybe I hit it with one of the poles. I'll get the roll started and then my pole doesn't come undone. pretty cold today I don't know why we're getting ice rain and not snow it must be a lot warmer air above these clouds and it's just warm rain coming down just turning into ice instead of snow overnight it got down to minus 6 Celsius which I think is 22 Fahrenheit I'll put it on the screen so it got pretty damn cold and the felt like temperature was a lot lower so the temperature was lower than expected and it felt I could feel it for sure so a five pound tent when wet and icy turns into about a seven pound tent Hey, it's a workout, guys. Most of the people who hate this heavy tent probably haven't hiked more than a couple miles in their entire lives. In one day, I mean. Tough it up, you can carry anything if you do it right. So, that goes right in there. That's everything that belongs with the tent. I rolled it up no problem. You can stop the time. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's heavy now. So, time stops. I'll put up the actual stamps on the screen for you guys. Sorry my phone bummed out on us. That's a good seven and a half pounds now. Suck it up, buttercup. Those were pretty realistic field conditions. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, that's a really good thing with military surplus. You could pack this thing up wet all day long. I've been out in the field where all my stuff was wet for a month. Freezing conditions, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Did that guy just throw his tin in the dryer? That's right guys, military surplus, it's so tough, you throw this tent in the dryer. Put it on low heat, delicate 
you'll have no issues. You won't destroy the blackout material. You won't destroy anything. I only do that because I live in a German house and I don't have anywhere inside to hang it up. So I throw it in the dryer. I've been doing this for eight years with this exact tent, no issues. Show me a backpacker with their thousand dollar ultralight tents that'll actually confidently throw that tent into the dryer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a special video for some of you guys asking about it. Let me know down below what your thoughts were. Let me know also what you would like to see in the future. As always, thank you for the comments and the suggestions. Also, a lot of the criticism. I appreciate the input. Until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Prepared Lives Matter. Ciao.